based on true events inspired by the legend of the Mothman. 1967. I got a letter that said, Come home, Caleb. Under the starlit sky, the cowboy sings. The name on the envelope said, Joseph Dewstring. My dad's name. The strange thing was, my dad died a few weeks ago. I had avoided going back to our farmhouse after his death, but that letter shook me to my core. It was time to finally go back home. Mothman! If anybody's in the Discord, they know I got a thing for the Mothman. <laughs> I found myself driving to my childhood home in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, after swearing I'd never go back. Is, um, the... Uh, it looks like it's a Mothman game. It was late when I arrived and the farmhands would surely be gone for the day. My stomach turned in knots. I hadn't set foot in that place in six years. Not since the falling out I had with my dad. Well, hold on. There we go. Get that flashlight pumping. So it's 1967. We're returning back to our family's farm. And apparently it's in West Virginia. And uh, that might be the original like place of the mothman legend the front door was locked i knew dad kept a spare key in the shed somewhere all right Zvers the shed thank you for the follow v i do appreciate it um, let's walk down the porch. That might kick us out to a shed. Uh, Sunny's Farming Supply Co. This just looks like a shipment thingy. Nothing super duper important. It's hard to hear, but they hopefully you guys could read that. This is spooky. <laughs> oh, nice, dude. Just de rocked a crowbar. Absolutely. Um, Items are used automatically on interaction. So the radio is saying essentially through our electronics we are maybe contacting some higher levels of consciousness. Potentially extraterrestrial stuff like that. Who are they? I don't know yet. But I th think they're closing in on me. Should I be more careful? Maybe I can throw them off. Make it harder for them to figure out what I'm doing. I'll start by boarding up the shed. I don't know if that's going to be enough, Who dog. Was dad talking about? He was paranoid about something. All right, so dad's kind of getting a little crazy, getting a little, uh... Oh, we'll take that for sure. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, I think we can go in the house now. I don't I wouldn't do well in like the middle of nowhere and I just like a random farm. A little too isolated for your boy.
Okay. The thought of walking into our house and seeing my dad sitting on the couch, watching his favorite television program, kept creeping into my mind. That thought was crushed by the reality that he was gone. Well, that's kind of sad. Can we open this further? Nah, it looks like it's jammed. What about this? No, that's locked as well. Alright, we're going to the front door. I'm hoping those are our footsteps. I'm home. Oh, nice. What are these big old crates? Fruits and veggies. That's got a stink. The house was a mess. What the hell happened? Dude, that's what I'm thinking. My dad was a painter, but I had never seen that one before. Why did it remind me of something? Then I remembered the note he sent. Under the starlit sky, the cowboy sings. What the hell did it all mean? Well, that one's pretty obvious. <laughs> um, interview with astronomer, professor, and ufologist Jeremy Alvin Heideck. I wish you could zoom in a bit. Um, one simply doesn't pass up the chance to interview an, a reclusive subject of interest. That's why when my next assignment landed on my desk to interview the renowned Jeremy Alvin Heideck, I jumped the chance. I traveled to the gloomy countryside of Wales, a setting fit for our upcoming conversation about the paranormal and unexplained. We met at the Wales Grudge, a local tavern in his hometown. One of the first topics I wanted to discuss with Heideck came with an anecdote. A dear friend of mine phoned me a week prior and told me about a local story in the paper about recent sightings. 10% of the population can see beyond the narrow spectrum of visible light. These thought projections are said to be visible to certain individuals, manipulate these radio wave-like radio wave -like energies within the mind of the blank. This theory is nothing new. Hundreds of years of Tibetans have believed, called tulpas, can argue that these may be psychological in nature and not so much paranormal. However, materialization of one's thoughts, this would take this would take great amount of blank we can't doubt the fact that ancient civilizations have blank 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 so a pop out game I'm not sure what a pop out game means that door wasn't there before hmm what is this it looks like the handle was missing Uh, what is this, bro? Gray veal furniture or funeral home. It's the coroner's report. It says his body was found in the TNT area. The hell was he doing out there? Yeah, it's a it's a horror game. V. That's all I play is scary games. Um. Found near a TNT bunker. No prominent cause of death visible on the body. Excessive swelling and redness of skin around the eyes. Dis the only thing he had was his wallet. So, we need to find a door handle, apparently. I don't know if I should be ringing uh, bells in the house. Oh, here we go. 
One of mom's prized vases. My family. My we were in a car accident when I was eight. My mom, grandma, and grandpa died. Oh, man. My dad had to work really hard to keep the farm afloat after that. Dude, that's sad. What is up with the... These bells? Those, are like, dinner bells? I've been by, I've been leaving my guard down a bit. We gotta uh, we gotta stay on guard here. I mean, there's a Mothman around here. Oh my god! I knew my dad was a drinker. He never abused it. Damn, he lost all control. Well, yeah, his whole family were unalived in a car accident, bro. It happened. Blueberry pie sounds pretty good phone I think we just keep going uh 10 6 whoa that was yesterday 1967 I thought about calling Caleb telling him I was selling the last of the animals he was attached to them and took pride in making sure they were taken care of I decided not to call though what the heck am I gonna do with all those supplies I bought I hate to admit it, but I'm avoiding Mitchell's calls. I don't have time to deal with that. I have interviews lined up with a few witnesses this week. Witnesses of what? Gone? I needed to find Fred, farmhand supervisor, and get some answers. Oh, the farm animals were abducted. I don't know what to expect in this game. Oh, that scared me. so late at night. Is that a fart? I heard it. Alright. Pick up the phone, dog! Hello? There we go. Hello? Damn. The power had gone out before I could find out who that was. I would have to find a way to turn the power back on. Of course. I'm definitely ringing every bell I walk by. Kind of a weird photo. Is that Leonardo? Leonardo da Vinci. I don't know what to expect. Oh. Maybe. Oh, God. Dude, Mothman's creepy. Some Kleenexes. Alright. Some lotion. Uh, 8 8 1967. Things aren't looking well. I've lost all the farm hands but one. Fred and his family are still here, but who knows for how much longer. They got a little boy and another one on the way. Soon I'll have to cut his pay too, and then I really don't know what I'll do. The Down farm. Financial trouble. Oop. Never said a word. We weren't on talking terms, but damn it. I wish he had just called me. That stubborn man. Yep, I know all about that. Closed mouths don't get fed. Alright. Did a door just close behind us? What's going on in here? Okay. <coughs> Whoa! Oh! It's a man in black. Dude, that's creepy. Got our first scare. What the fuck? Was I imagining things? Who was that man? He didn't move, but I got the impression that he was pointing towards the backyard. Men in black stuff is pretty creepy. All the stories on that. 
Don't necessarily believe it, but... Slenderman? Yeah, it, had, it did have the distortion like a Slenderman thing. How do we uh, go to the back? Maybe that uh, unlocked something. I needed to find the farmhand manager, Fred. He was the only farmhand that lived on the ground. He had a cabin near the barn. See, I told you. This door opened. I could have sworn the door to the backyard was closed. It was closed. Oh no, dude. This is definitely, uh... Oh, that's what's up. No, I want the sledgehammer. Uh, 513, 1960 do. It's been over a year since he's been gone and haven't talked to him once. When he got married a few months ago, his wife was the one to call me and break the news. She said Caleb doesn't want anything to do with me, but she thinks a father should know about his son's marriage. So that's why she called. Why can't I pick up weapons? Game just wants me to get murked. All right. Um, what's this? This was my favorite book growing up. Okay. We're doing well so far. Just follow the path. Pretty nice. The smell in the backyard brought back memories of my grandpa. We spent a lot of time in the garden together. What's this? A lot of bells! Alright, I'm not gonna ring anymore. Not only was my dad a painter, but he was also a skilled craftsman. He built a gazebo with his bare hands. That's one thing I'm not. Definitely not a, a handyman. Uh, the reset lever should be working per your request. Fred. Let's see what's in there. Can we not... Let me in, dog. Alright. Things sure have fallen apart in just a matter of a few years. The good memories in this garden are one of the things keeping me sane. My dad built this garden with his bare hands for my mom. It was his wedding gift to her when they moved in. I can picture Caleb playing out here when he was just a toddler, rolling around in the dirt, making mud pies, and playing hide and seek. I don't know where to go from at this point. Like, that's... Pretty much it, isn't it? Oh, look at the moon glistening off the little pond. That's pretty cool. What I'm thinking is we gotta, like, get up there. Oh, shovel. But we can't grab it. Boom! We're a genius. First try, all by ourselves. I'd never seen that pillar before. It looked like it was missing pieces. Three phases to the moon. Huh? What did we just pick up? A square object. We got this. Do you guys believe in Mothman?
and why or why not. Dude, our boy got super fast. Boom. Never heard of him. You'll have to Google him. Some people say he's attractive. I didn't. I got a nice booty. My dad had let everything fall to ruin. It was unlike him. Maybe I could find answers upstairs. All right, we can do that. I'm not. I'm not joking. Google. Google Mothman. Mothman booty. They say he's just cheeked up, caked up, rocking the dump truck. <laughs> All right, we're going. Uh... Here we are. Hey, uh, November 1966, exact date unknown, a woman, her brother, and her three-year-old daughter were driving near the TNT area. That's why he was there. They were visiting relatives in that area. They got out of the car in front of their relative's house. Her brother went inside. The woman carrying her daughter saw a creature in the woods near the house. It paralyzed her, and the two fell to the ground. As soon as she regained the ability to move, she scooped up her daughter, ran inside, and called the police. Composite sketch from the witness statement, drawn at the police station. Yeah, it's like half man, half moth, with an ass booty. But I'm not even joking, if you Google Mothman, Mothman booty. My old room. Today's top Whoa. story weighs heavily on the residents of Point Pleasant. A local farmer, identified as Joseph Dewspring, was discovered dead in the McClintic Wildlife Management Area yesterday afternoon. Could this incident be linked to the recent sightings of a winged, red-eyed creature? We spoke with the local reporter who interviewed an eyewitness who told their story. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me again today. So when was the last time you saw it? It came back last night. It, it was standing in the woods near the barn. A tall, black figure. I couldn't make out any details except for the big red eyes. I was in a trance, completely paralyzed. And then I blacked out. Creepy. Wait. Crescent Moon! I can't wait to get out of this dang house. I made the mistake of telling my dad that I thought I saw a figure out of the corner of my eye last night in the basement. He went on about how that's called anomalous phenomena. Whatever the heck that means. Says I might have the same gift he has. Now he gave me a book called The Book of the Damned. I'm going to throw it away. In a few months, I'll be old enough to apply for that trucking job in, in Indianapolis. Hey, that's where I live. Then me and Gracie can get out of here, and I'm never turning back. Does that mean, so, uh... It all seems so true. Does that mean I'm going to see Mothman soon? Wait, we came... Uh, yeah, I think we're going the right way. Yeah. A lot of little notes, man. The deeper I dig, the more I feel I'm being watched. Building my little contraptions help me keep things safe and will throw them off. I never thought being a tinkerer would come in handy. Locked. There's a small moon-shaped hole above the door. That's interesting. We can definitely go out back now, I think, and put this... Put this on. Grandma and Grandpa's room was disheveled, unrecognizable. What was Dad doing in here? You know who he sounds like, Mister Nightmare. The YouTuber. 
Oh my god, look at all this stuff. Um, okay, that's creepy. Red-eyed creature in West Virginia. I'm not going to read all these. Um, okay, so we, we definitely got uh, several reports here. Oh, here we go. Caleb, there's a chance I may be gone when you find this recording. I'm sorry for how things turned out, but there are weird things going on. Start by checking the bookshelf downstairs under the vase. There's a key to the side shed. Be careful. <laughs> All right. Thanks, my Pops. Voice brought a tear to my eye. But my grieving was short-lived. Things were only getting stranger, and I had more questions than answers. D uh, would you guys want to, like, interact and be a part of, like, strange stuff? Or do you want to like far away and just on TV, but like not to like experience it and live it? I've always wondered that if I would, because uh, I think extraterrestrials, all that stuff is really cool. Don't know if I believe any of it, but uh, you know, I don't know. Would you want to like experience that stuff? But what if it like makes you all like traumatized? A shed key, heck no. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I went to my first haunted house Friday. Not a real one, a fake one, but I was like, man, if I could barely take the like this with actors, I don't know if I could see like a Mothman. That'd probably scare the heck out of me. Uh, the shed key. That would be to the side here, right? Yeah. I might need to turn up my brightness to my camera. I'll have to do it after this game. Looks a little low. Low light. This should be the key, right? Oh! You gotta right click. I forget about that sometimes. Okay, okay, okay. We're moving. We're moving here, guys. Oh, yeah, baby. What's this? Basement key. I don't even know where the basement is. Rope metal handle. Reset lever. Oh, now it tells us. So they got that in reverse. I was going to say, how would that guy figure that out? All right. I happened to come across a rerun of a television interview. A man named Warren said that on November 2nd, 1966, he was on an isolated road when a gigantic unidentified flying object landed in front of his car. The door on the object opened and a man wearing a black suit stepped out. Now I don't know if this is just a coincidence or not, but the day Warren had this encounter was exactly one day after the sighting of the Mothman by the National Guardsman. Are these two incidents somehow linked? I need to bring this up to Mary. I'll gather as much information as I can and present it to her. Is Mary his wife? Warren's encounter reminded me of the man I saw in the window. The thought of seeing him again sent a chill down my spine. I tried to shake it off. There was no way. I must have imagined that. At least, like, they're providing some cool real-life, like, background, some lore, some, like... Like, that's... I love that about this game. So many of the games, it's just about the jump scare. So I do like th this aspect um, of the game so far. Because this stuff interests me. Maybe... I'm surprised that's not the basement key. Would this be the basement key? That wouldn't make sense to be a basement. It wouldn't be up here. Maybe there's something... Dude, if I run into a jump scare, I'll... Oh! The power had gone out. 
heck was going on? Hello? Does Joe live here? Joe? It was that son of a bitch from the window. I am a searcher. I need to speak with him. A cer what's a searcher? I needed to find a way to turn the power back on so I could call the police. All right, well, we're going to go to the basement. You guys got to tell me what a searcher is. I've never heard of that term. Basement should be... Av, thank you so much for the, uh, for the follow. Appreciate it. Okay, I'm assuming the basement is going to be one of these doors. It wouldn't be this, would it? Boom! We're going to the naughty room. Dad rarely let me come down here. He was always messing with the pipes and valves. Definitely a creepy house he grew up in. I guess it's creepy because there's no power, but... Maybe Caleb needs some space to clear his head. I respect his decision, but dang, do I miss him. I just hope him and Grace are doing alright. At least I still have the farm hands to keep me company and help with running this place. One of my sources connected me with a man in the National Guard. The man asked to remain anonymous. He was reluctant to tell me his story until I told him there were other sightings. He was relieved to hear that and told me that it made him feel just a little less crazy. On November 1st, 1966, he was on duty and saw a human-sized figure perched in a tree just above the fence bordering the Point Pleasant Engineer Battalion headquarters. It was too dark to make out any fine details but it was unmistakably a man-shaped figure. He left to get his partner, but when they returned, the creature was gone. According to my timeline, this is possibly the first sighting of the Mothman. Interesting. Oh my god. Uh, hey Joe, the furnace door sticks. Turning the fire, turning the fire on loosens it up. The valves have been lately in order to. Okay, we're in trouble with that one. Got a moon key. We're gonna have to. Oh no. We have a puzzle here apparently, and we have half of a note. Uh. Oh! What the fuck was that? Uh, that was Moth Boy. I like how you call them the pop out games. That's funny. I'll have to start using that. For the first time, we got some, uh, we got, oh, that scared me. We got some spooky music coming in here. Oh. Oh, we do have to do the pipes. Three, four, one, five, two. There we go. 
first try. We're a genius. Small moon? Wait. That would go to the patio, right? Ugh! Okay. I think we put it right here, right? In the gazebo? That looks like a little moon. Let's put it in there. Slap it in. Dog, we're missing a part. Oh! Sorry, I didn't mean to scream. We got it, guys. Oh! <gasps> We're good. We're good. We're good. There's nothing. Something was walking on the roof. There's nothing to to worry about. There's nothing at all to worry about. Guys, you just got to relax like I am. Perfectly calm. A nice cool demeanor. We are safe. Can I take this bat? Oh, that got me. Got my little panties all twisted up. All right. So, so uh, uh, apparently there's a mothman on the roof. And we're gonna go put the moon in. It should be completely safe. Did you walk any louder? Oh! Oh my god, dude. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> Behind you? Point Pleasant, including me, including my dad. I needed to get the hell out of there. Can this guy walk any louder? It's like he's wearing iron boots, bro. Stealth, homie. Pretend there's a Mothman chasing you. Oh, there is. Alright, so we just gotta make a run for it? Zero chance we get to our truck. I can't sprint! Bro, run! Oh my god. Shit. Battery died. Didn't realize I left my lights on. You're joking me. I was just gonna say, I know the car ain't gonna start. Well, I hope Sexy Mothman left. Unless he wants to go on a date. Completely open to that as well. Alright. So we didn't even... Yeah, we got we got a heck of a, a double team happening here. There we go! Things 
happening in our town. I have reason to believe people are in danger. They are trying to tell me something. Something really bad is about to happen, but I can't quite figure it out. I'll admit it's driving me up the wall. I wish I wasn't a failure to you. Please just trust me. Under the starlit sky, the cowboy sings. A little bit sad right there.